gorgeous. Here's me creating some meta commentary here because I'm still a bit shy about vlogging. I'm getting better at it, but we're getting ready for the evening. These are all the things I packed. I'll create a separate video for that. And I got this from Mark and Graham, which I got for my husband for our anniversary. And this bag is due in London. They are my go-to for all things leather goods, especially bags and shoes and wallets. And this is Calpac. It's a silk, literally rose gold silk shoulder pillow and this is also calpac it's a teeny tiny square carry-on mini carry-on and this tech stack also calpac so they are my go-to for all things travel essentials i'll create a whole review for all their things but this is the view from the churchill hotel which we were staying and their streets are super different it was so weird navigating a German street. It's where bespoke shirts are made and Savile Road's where all the bespoke suits are made. English fashion is known for the everyday fashion that we have. They invented all of it. Complimentary Prosecco that the hotel gave us. This was Hyde Park because there is a water hose pipe ban and I was really sad because a lot of the really beautiful monuments they have all over London are war memorials of literally people, soldiers who have died and given up their lives and nurses and all these people who died along the way. It was really sad. Every time you see something gorgeous, it's because a ton of people died. And I was walking down this path right before the changing of the guard, so if you don't know, they changed the guard literally at Buckingham Palace and it's a whole ceremony. People from all over the world, I heard every single language of everyone and they changed the guard of the Buckingham Palace, the Royal Palace, and then the, they changed the guard of the cavaliers, so the, the soldiers on the horses who stand out along the outside of the other parts of the palace and you can see their uniforms are different. Uh, they are black. Everyone should at least experience this once in their lives, so I'm gonna show you just with the music and the whole performance. For those of you who don't know, the whole process of how they choose the people who are in the guards, the royal guards who become them, the way that they choose for these people to march, my husband was telling me because he was in the RAF and he had a ton of friends who were royal guards and beef eaters and what they do is they inspect those who have the best uniforms and those who don't have the best uniforms have to do chores all day. So getting cho chosen to do uh, this ceremony is really special and they are actually having an inspection live in real time as you see them so they're fixing all their belts and all their um, uniform as they go throughout the time that you see them this whole area where all these beautiful buildings are and these government buildings are are the palace grounds so they're an extension of where the palaces are and around them are really really nice houses because that's where the rich people lived and the reason being is they wanted to be closer to the royal family so that they could have more power and be more influential that was a long time ago and all of these statues you see here are of famous generals and people who brought 
the brought the British Empire together and they are saving the fourth spot the rumor is for Queen Elizabeth II this was in Savile Row where my husband was shopping and we were planning a bunch of um, places where he could get suited and tailored up so that you see these clothes he are wearing are something from James Bond <laughs> so that was fun and this is Fortnum and Mason the iconic place where you have tea and it has been here for a very long time as an etiquette consultant, I had to come here and it's the holy grail of tea. So we had a tea ceremony together and practicing all of the appropriate <laughs> um, protocol that goes with tea. This is Savile Row, iconic, 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 where suits are made and everyone there is so dressed dressed so well and Bond Street is the equivalent equivalent of Rodeo Drive where all the flag store shops are and it's really expensive. I got a Smithson uh, notebook as a gift in pink with my name on it. My husband was so thoughtful to get it for me. Smithson is known for their uh, stationery and you can get all your stationery made there. It's really beautiful one-of-a-kind stationery. I got the gilded in gold so they personally consulted with me which type to get for knowing who I am and I picked up some workout clothes so that I could work out there because I didn't realize that I was able to and this is Hamley's and it's like the FAO Schwartz of London and there is Paddington Bear. We were getting gifts for our niece and nephew so that we could spoil them. This black and white style of building is called a Tudor style so in the time, time of the Tudors there was a demonstration going on for animal rights. It was funny because there was a guy eating a ham and cheese sandwich and it was all about animal rights. Left the city for five hours. Oh, we went to pick up a rental car. So this, <laughs> this is Pimlico. It's a really nice area for housing. It's residential um, in London. And I thought, wow, I want to buy a house there. It's gorgeous. And I like Mayfair a lot too. So I am definitely getting a property there sometime. And I was sleeping in the car because I was so tired. It looks like we're in heaven, like you died and went to heaven and there's a sign that says sheep. We're outside of London. This is where we're staying before we head to my husband's best friend's wedding, which is kind of the main reason why we made this trip. They will hop in front of your car, literally, when they see you. They will stop just to run across in front of your car. And I don't I don't understand why. <laughs> I don't, they want to move out of the way, but they're already out of the way, but they want to go to the other side. I don't get it. And same with some dogs that you will see. They're the sheep herders. So we had to move a gate twice. So this is a very properly rural area, but it looked like a butter commercial. And the Airbnb made us some bread. If you know how to make bread, this is a labor of love. My husband always makes me bread. There's like three of them. Hi, Cashmere. Don't cheat on Cashmere. Cashmere told me he's stretching. Hey, baby. Oh, there's a frog. We're going in. And there's another cat. Come on in. I want to cross the road, but there's a lot of animals at night. There's a frog. Okay. And he's hopping around. And I'm surprised the cats don't try and eat him. Maybe that's what they're doing out here. Mm -hmm. Hello, I'm gonna take you to through a quick tour through our Airbnb. So this is the area where the wedding is gonna be held. It's called Bromyard, and it looks like an actual butter commercial. There are rolling hills of green and sheep when we drive everywhere like crossing the road I call cockerels outside roosters singing away at every time i open the window or hear the door open there's wild chubby british short hair cats everywhere there's frogs it's so cute it's heaven it's so peaceful and it's beautiful and it's like a garden and so i'm going to take you through a quick tour i'm going to start here in this room in the, the bedroom because um my husband is ironing his shirt and has the football game on so this is uh where where exactly in london are we i mean england are we herefordshire <laughs> so first i'll start off here the doors are 
beautiful and unvarnished and unpainted which I really like it and it's the contrast between like the threshold and the white this is obviously a converted barn so if you can see the beams atop and this bed is really cute and we just quickly made it and it was really decorated the, these actually went up there but since we used it we don't want to like intermix our bacteria too much cutest lamps i've seen in a long time and i bought a headwig at the bookstore the storage is all the way up to the ceiling which i really like i miss that about europe because if the space is smaller they have to typically build the storage upwards and there is these dried flowers which i'm a huge fan of these small touches of these beautiful little matted and framed artworks matte and frame any artwork that, no matter how small it is or how um un i guess you can say unprofessional it is like if you have a child who has uh, some artwork it makes it all the more special i have my dress for the party it has this mirror that is like a vanity so you can use it inside but then it also has this other mirror which really helps because there's a ton of natural light here that is really stunning and that's always been my problem with packing or with doing my makeup abroad in a hotel with horrible lighting and no the bad mirror situation because the mirror is usually in the darkest room which is the bathroom and this is really cute because this the shower style is like the updated kind that they have in Copenhagen where I used to live and I love these sewing um, these little stitchery because my uncle used to do a lot of these and they have a lot of these like different types of flowers all over the house where it has like their latin name their genus and their kingdoms and then there's a chair here <laughs> i have like my tongue scraper on there on a towel but um that's my towel that i brought but i like that you can have a chair in here so you can sort of relax and chit chat in the bathroom i guess <laughs> if someone's getting ready and um each window has these beautiful short curtains and i think it's perfect there like everything about this house has so many comfortable homey touches and you can see outside there's an incredible garden and i see the the father of the woman who owns this place is outside gardening and you'll see pictures of him some more i'll show you um this is corner of tudor clothes everything else was designed for the house if you can see the furniture i love the sets so each chair please excuse my luggage each chair has its own table but they all um, put it within one spot because it's um like what do you call matryoshka tables then there's all these watercolors these little sketches here i'm always a fan of these types of artworks they have a ton of british books like specifically british books so if you go throughout this whole house there's like a lot of guides on british things and then a lot of um different British authors and like you can tell their style is very much pa patriotic and I really like that because it gives you a taste of staying here in Bromyard. So for you Americans, the light switches are the other way on when it's down. I like the curtains and these ones are different from the master bedroom I think because those are um, blackout curtains where these are uh, allowing some daylight to come through. I love the windows that are like this because I've never seen these before until today or at least I've never paid attention or had to use them and you can see a lot of lavender outside and you'll see even more British books here and the storage goes all the way up to the ceiling and they have vases everywhere and, and then these chairs and I leaf tables and an escritoire I like when there's a small tv that's my favorite and a rug on a carpet I like because layering is very important when it comes to making a textile even more comfy and they had bread i know we need to clean it up but they made us bread with butter in the fridge for us and my throat is really croaky but there's a lot of different lights as you can see and i really love these lanterns and then they have silk flowers here because i'm a huge fan of just not having to take care of flowers and it really is a nice touch in the window considering how beautiful this crystal vase is and really thought out beautiful details because this is probably like their summer home when they are want to visit the countryside outside of the city and they have a ton of african art and this is what really really um, surprised me was first off the African art okay that doesn't surprise me too much it's still kind of imperial there I saw some scrimshaw here and it was incredibly it is incredibly ornate and you can see the different tribe styles of carving 
and they're really beautiful i've never seen scrimshot this up close before so it's really something special to see ivory and um it's probably handed down from imperial times carved spoon it says johannesburg it says queen elizabeth oh the second okay so that is the queen who is ruling now tell me where your pajamas are from turnbull and asser turnbull and asser can you tell me a bit about the brand <laughs> okay, thank you. Very insightful. And this was really an extra special touch where it says RSVP and Dianjia. The gentleman outside, who was the father, was in the RAF and he was a proper pilot. So if you see this badge, that means they're a pilot. My husband was in the RAF for 10 years. If you ever do Airbnb in Bromyard, this is the place. I wanted to show you some things that I bought yesterday that I started using three things from Selfridges. So one, actually one thing I got from Selfridges and then the two other things I got from Harrods, I think. But I just remember going to the Chanel and Dior counter, first things and foremost. Chanel CC Cream Correction Complete Super Active Complete Correction SPF 50. There is corrector, uh, no, there is correction in the title twice so you know it's gonna correct your skin so how it works CC creams are color correcting by using the opposite ends of the spectrum of colors that you want to get rid of seeing um, and then it's also mixed with foundation so it's like concealer mixed with foundation essentially but it um, makes your skin look more con more look healthier essentially so this is also SPF 50 which is incredible because it helps and I got mine in 30 because 30 is like the beige color and the lady saw my face and she immediately said 30 and I always know I'm somewhere around 30 so this SPF 50 is a lifesaver because I don't even have to think when it comes to this um, I just put it on and I don't have to layer on multiple different products so when you use SPF you typically have to layer and it's really annoying because you feel like a cake face or your face sweats and if you like accidentally um, wipe part of your face then you have to replace all those layers of things that you're putting on and it's such a pain in the butt where if you have one thing all in one it's perfect i got this for 45 british pounds so that's about 60 bucks i think the christian rouge dior lip balm in Chevy, so it's satin balm so i'm wearing it now i'm wearing all of these things now except for the setting powder because i had a bit of sweat rash yesterday where um i had makeup on while i was in the car and i fell asleep and i got sweaty and it was really itchy it was annoying but this shade is really it's really chill like it's perfect for the summer because you want to have that dewiness and i think this dewiness is perfect for me all the time because i don't like looking super matte all the time and the lip liner is super harsh when you have matte and it makes your skin look even more dry when it comes to going on the ends and then trying to make the concealer meet you have to be really precise with this i just put it on and it doesn't look messy it just looks very natural it goes with the shape of your lips as opposed to you shaping your lips with like a matte liner a matte lipstick so i have been having i had my eye on this for a very long time because i've been using chanel lip balms um from the other room for uh that are just clear lately and it's really easy because you don't have to think you don't have to think of the color but since i'm going to a wedding um i have all these matte colors and my skin is so bad from the flight and from just like being outdoors a bit more and so the harsh elements are really paying for that on my skin or my skin is really paying for the harsh elements so um when you have the clear lip balm that's also that's good and i can also share it with my husband who needs it all the time and ran out he just replenished his lip balm from dr harris i got this for being a little bit more dolled up instead of having to rely on something super matte because that's all i brought and then this gucci compact of uh, finishing powder setting and finishing powder I cannot tell you how good this smells. It smells like their brand perfume. Oh, it smells so good. As you can see, it's still new. It hasn't been used. I loved it. I love it because it has Gucci on it and it's blush. But um, for those of you who don't know, my initials are GG. So I have loved Gucci for a very long time because they look like they personalized everything for me. It comes in this be beautiful, smooth compact and then you lift it up and it has a little, little cushion pad so that you can powder your nose and I can officially say I need to go powder my nose so um but which is a very old school thing and people would probably expect it from me anyway I love the rim and that's something I loved about a lot of 
other beauty product brands that don't have like the all-in-one i'm talking about a very one specific beauty product brand um that's doing very well and it's very beautiful it's also british but i'm not gonna say should i just say it? charlotte tilbury so i love their i love the packaging of gucci but it's gucci and it's blush where charlotte tilbury doesn't have it and they also don't have like a cc cream that is they have, but like it's like the same price so i don't understand anyway so um this was really what i've been looking for for a long time because i don't have a compact that i can use that has setting powder and i desperately need setting powder and i'm seeing how much of a maker of a difference it makes of a maker of a difference it makes in my life when i do have something to set and kind of blur perfect my look and um I need something that I can carry around that is really chic. When you have a compact in your purse that you want to take out in public, and I mean in the public restroom, so don't ever groom outside in public. Or if you have like a piece of food in your teeth, um, you need something chic to pull out. And this is the ultimate chic compact to carry around. I am obsessed with the packaging. Girl, look at that. And it smells so good. So if you open it, also the powder smells perfumed. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Give this a like. Oh my godly, look at this. Everyone is in three-piece suits and it's hot in England. It gets hot in England for once and everyone is sweating and if you see over there, there are rolling hills. Check it out. See right here. They're playing all pop music. Yeah, I mean that's probably what people want. I know. Not what I want. But I am not people. This means there will be food. and click the bell to stick around for part two get the notification coming out tomorrow